It's time! Um, hi all. Guess what time it is? It's Christmas time. Um, I'm going to share with you first um, just what I'll be using that's new this Christmas. I will also be using all my old crepe paper Christmas collections that I love. But this is the new stuff that I'll be using. I got a little bit of um, the Vicky Booten and a lot of the Paige Evans. So let's start with the Paige Evans. Um, this is called Sugar Plum Wishes and it's got a bunch of really cute, really colorful Christmas stuff. So if you're a cute and colorful kind of Christmas girl, then this collection is for you. I also found these really cute little jumbo gift tags at um, uh, HomeSense. So I will be using these as well. Um, they will probably also go to my pen pal, whoever I do the swap with. Um, they'll probably get one of these as well. Um, I just thought they were super cute Santa. I'm always looking for a really cute Santa and I really like this one. So um, we have those and then I'll get into the um, collection here. Um, so as always, puffy stickers. Oh, you can see in this collection, there's turquoise. There's a little bit of purple, which I've no, I don't think I've ever seen in a Christmas collection. There's gingerbread and cute little pink everything. Uh, very pink, very girly. Um, love this one. Um, I bought these specifically to do happy mail. So I will be sending these out in my swap. I'll be making something with them, but how cute are those for happy mail? Um, like the little gingerbread charm and Santa. Oh my gosh, adorable. And I also got the, um, this is the sticker book. So it's got, again, quite a few stickers in it and a mix of the clear stickers and the cardstock stickers. And um, I also got the both die cut packs. One is like a florally die cut pack. So it's got lots of great snowflakes and florals. And the other one is more of like the words and the little people. I love this little sleigh being pulled by the reindeer. So cute. I also got all the stickers that came with this, the word and letter stickers, because um, I really didn't think I had anything that would match this collection. So I thought I'd better get, um, I don't like the red in this one. It, I'll probably be able to use it, um, but I really like the mix of the, the, the colors that'll go with it. This is just a bigger version and it's got kind of the sweater look on it, very cute. And then I got the big sticker pack. Again, just the same kind of icons and colors. I got these little enamel stickers. I got the 12 by 12 chipboard sheet because I love chipboard. It's definitely not as good quality as the crepe paper. Um, it's really thin, but I still love the chipboard. So I got that. Um, and again, another cute Santa and gingerbread. Um, and then I got the six by eight paper pad which has 36 sheets and I believe there's two of each one so cute tags um pretty much everything that's in the um the collection pack of paper I think is in the six by eight um because I do mini albums I always grab the six by eight and then for pattern paper there's this cute little cross stitch Christmas tree and a nice little um plaid on the back these cute little Christmas trees. I love this little stripe that added the little kind of pink and red in it. Another kind of sweater weather, um, snow themed one. This one, again, she does this for all of her collections. It's just every single pattern paper. So this is a great way if you want to punch out like, you know, something you can punch them from each of the different papers. And on the back is stockings. Again, this one is the countdown paper. So it's got up to 25 on here. And, oh, sorry, the back is just some holly. And then this is a cute little wintry scene. I really like this one here. I love the color and the words on it. So I really like that one. Uh, the gingerbread with a nice little white polka dot. Then we have the pink plaid with floral on one side. The ornaments with a really bright green. Kind of a little too bright for Christmas, but... Then this one is going to be perfect for fussy cutting. I'll probably be doing that and another plaid. And then I also got the specialty paper. So this is the, um, what is it? The acetate and it's got those flowers on it, which is beautiful. Look at that. I love that. So that is the um, Paige Evans collection. And I'm just going to go grab 
the Vicky Booten, and I'll be back to show you what that one looks like. Okay, so this is the Vicky Booten um, Peppermint Lane, Peppermint Kisses, sorry, Peppermint Kisses. Um, so I got the papery pack, and the reason I got the papery pack, this has, oh gosh, lots, uh, 200 pieces, 200. Um, but I really love doing traveler's notebooks. And I'm thinking I may do a large traveler's notebook for my December daily this year. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do a six by eight album or a traveler's notebook. But um, if I do end up doing a traveler's notebook, these are going to be perfect for that. So um, they have all 200 of these pieces. There's like three or four in each, as well as some um, little words and stuff like that. So this is always a great deal. I usually split it with someone, but um, I forgot to ask her to split it. So I have that. Um, I got some of the chipboard. Um, so for example, it says ho ho ho. It's in black. So the chipboard either comes black or white. I know it's meant to be painted on and, um, you know, done with mixed media, but I am not a mixed media person. So I am not sure what I'm going to do with these. Um, I may just give them to somebody because I'm not sure that I will use those. I might use the stars and try and um, do something with them, but I'm not sure what I would do with those. So we'll put those over there. I got the gold stickers just because Christmas usually gold. These have a black like stripe through them. I don't know if you can see that on there. Um, so they kind of go more with this collection than they might with like the prettier collections just because of the black in there. Um, and then I also got the die cut pack. So again, this is just full of pretty die cuts. I love this pink Christmas tree and the pink little house there, the old station wagon. Um, and again, lots of gingerbread in this collection as well. This one's more of a vintagey collection, I would say. I love that the Santa's not really super white. There's a couple different options there. There's some nutcrackers. Um, again, the chipboard is quite thin uh, for this collection. Um, not as thick as they used to be for crepe paper, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so there's the chipboard. And then the pattern papers, um, some of these are gorgeous. This paper right here, um, absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to fussy cut this paper um, and do something with it. But I also really love the other side. So I guess I should have gotten two pieces of it because both of them, the peppermint candy stripe is really cute. And so is the florals. And then this one just says Merry Christmas and candy canes on the back. I love this pink with the candy canes again out of the ballpark that's a great one another wintry scene these are more kind of older house style houses um and on the back is this great green like i love the green in this collection the really deep green with um blue snowflakes love that i've got the tags of course um because i love doing stuff with the tags and they're great for happy mail so there's the tag sheet and on the back they've done the same as what they do for simple stories so the tags on the back are plain which is awesome because then you can write on them or if you don't like the front side you can use the back side i got this one here um i probably got it for the b side yep so there's christmas trees on the front and then a beautiful ledger on the back so i love ledger paper great background for scrapbooking so i got this piece for the ledger paper this one is holly and just an, another green again another really light green i definitely prefer the darker green in this collection and this one is pink snowflakes and i got this one for this um because i probably will cut out the scallops um, in this collection to use and then i love this one here the green and the blue again um and then it's got a great just branch on the back and again i got the um i love this it's almost holographic uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's just the little, I think it's just these little things that are holographic, not the snowflakes. So it's just got this beautiful shimmer. And this pattern paper that came behind it, I thought when I bought it, it was going to be pink, but it's not. It's actually completely see-through. Um, but this paper here is exactly the same color as the album. So I bought this snap album to use for a six by eight for December daily, but I, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, whether I'll be using the six by eight album, which I mean, look at how perfect that goes. So I will, if I do use it, I can use that background. Um, but I might also be using, um, just some 
pattern paper and uh, trying to use up more paper and doing a traveler's notebook style. So I got that. I also picked up um, because uh, in December I love to use um, lots of trim, which I've shared already, but I also love to use gold. So I bought two different kinds of gold just because these look totally different, um, the colors. So one is definitely like a richer goldy gold and then this one's more of a bright gold. So this one's more sheer as well. This is Sheer Shimmer Craft Spray by Imagine. And this one is the Liquitex Acrylic Ink. Um, so uh, yeah, I got two different kind of golds. I'll see golds. I'll see which go better with which. And then I also grabbed um, just these mini paper doilies. I thought these would be great to add to the Happy Mail. And red is always a great Christmas color. So that's it for what um, the new stuff I'll be using. But again, I will also be using all my old um, crepe paper collections as well.